Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with another quick and easy gift you can make just in time for Christmas. I know it's just a couple days away, but this is a really fun and practical gift. A chapstick. Everybody needs it, right? Lip balm, that sort of thing. It's a great gift that you can give to ladies at the office. You can give a classroom full of kids. I'm showing you two different versions here. One, a suitcase that's a little bit more um, gender neutral, and a purse that's a little girly. So you can do whichever works for you. Now, the uh, suitcase is just made with rectangle of cardstock, nothing fancy there, and the purse is made with a die cut and um, it's just a very inexpensive die cut. I'm using some stamps from our sponsor artneco.com and I'll be giving these stamps away on my website so make sure you check the link in the video description so you can sign up to win. And the first thing we're going to need to do is to cut a piece of cardstock for our little purse. I'm using a fancy label shape from a Doris die set, but if you want to do the suitcase, remember, just use a rectangle. So what I do here on my score pal is I actually make a line on the six inch mark because I find I often need to score things um, on either side of a center point, and this works for me. So I have lined the peaks in that die cut, which is right in the middle on that uh, center line, and I'm scoring a quarter inch from the center on each side of that peak. So I'm going to end up with a one half inch spine in there to fit my chapstick. Before I fold it into a purse, I want to make sure I decorate it. And the first thing I'm going to do is stamp this beautiful Paris collage over the entire piece. And that will give me a nice overall pattern. I wanted to add some color to my little purse here, so I decided to define the edges with some purple um, water-soluble oil pastel. And then I'm adding some pink in the middle to kind of pump up the color a little bit. Now this is totally optional. The stamping looks pretty just as it is, but I like the extra color. I smudged that around with my finger to kind of give it an overall sheen. And now I'm adding some touches of gold just to bring out some of the small design elements within the purse. You can also accent the Eiffel Tower again with that purple color that we used on the edge, and that just makes it pop out a little bit so you can kind of see what that collage stamps about. You could also just leave it kind of plain and let it be abstract. It's totally up to you. Keep in mind when you're using water soluble pastels, these oil pastels, that they could make things difficult to adhere so you will need to use hot glue to stick down embellishments if you decide to in the future. To make my postage stamp embellishment, I took four pieces of post-it note that I had stuck together to mask off a one inch square and basically stuck it down onto a scrap of cardstock. Now I'm using a portion of that same stamp I used to stamp my little purse to stamp within that square. And I'm stamping right on top of the po those post-it notes. That's gonna give me a little, um, a little section to work with. Now I'm gonna take some of the oil pastels, the same colors that I was using before, and I'm adding a little bit of color to the middle of this. Don't go right up to the edge of the post-it notes because sometimes it um, kind of scrapes off some of the pastel and you get kind of clumps and an icky, um, mess there. And now I'm just smudging that around. Now you could also do this with chalk. If you had a chalk pastel, it would work just as well. Put all the colors that you want to in there, and then you can remove your post-it note mask. And you've got this um, pretty little masked off square. But I wanted to add a postmark, and there is a pretty postmark stamp within that set. So I am stamping that right over my little um, postage edge there and you can either use decorative scissors or a postage stamp punch to punch that out and there is our cute little postage stamp embellishment and that works really well if you do the suitcase um, uh, holder chapstick holder too because you would expect to see like stamps and things like that on suitcases I think. I went really simple with embellishing this purse. I found some raveled roses trim in my stash and I cut off one of the single roses from the ribbon. And now I'm using a little bit of hot glue to stick that over the bottom of the Eiffel Tower on the other side of the purse because when it's folded up, that part would look upside down. So I thought I'd just cover that up. You also wanna dab a hot glue on the back of your faux postage stamp to adhere that down. Cause remember, like I said, the um, oil pastel can be a little bit greasy on the front there. And you can see how well the postage stamp works on the suitcase. Now for the suitcase, I just used paper, a uh, little bit of cardstock for the handles, but um, you could also use ribbon if you had something that was like brown or that matched your cardstock. But for the purse, I thought this pearl trim would be really pretty. So I cut off about three inches of the pearl trim. You'll need two pieces, the same size for this. And then you're simply gonna put two dabs of glue and you're gonna stick your bottom two pearls into the dab of glue like I'm doing here. Hot glue works best for this because it's gonna dry really quick and it's gonna grab grab that pearl trim. So just put your two dabs down, try to space them as evenly as you can and make them match on both sides and just press that bottom pearl in there and you're good. Do the exact same thing to the other side of the purse. 
All you need to hold your chapstick in this little purse is a bit of double-sided tape. So I'm just putting a little strip of adhesive down the middle and then I'm gonna press a chapstick right in there. I found these ones with the cute puppy dogs on them um, at the store the other day and I thought they were just adorable. Then all you do is bend up the sides and you have got your adorable paper purse. I want to thank you so much for checking this video today. I hope it inspired you to whip up a quick batch of last minute gifts that are truly practical, useful, and very thoughtful. I want to thank our sponsor, artneco.com. Make sure you mention The Frugal Crafter. If you order anything off of their website, they'll give you a 10% discount. I will be giving away the stamps we use today on my blog, thefrugalcrafter.wordpress.com, so don't forget to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.